So, hey guys, Chaos here. So we've got the full info for we 2 Yak, and he both looks better than we thought, but now everybody lost interest for him as well, since he isn't the experienced boost we thought he was. Instead, it looks like they tried to make him a very good partner for versus Kaido, which we got during the New Year Super Super Fest. But yeah, let's just jump into it. I hope that it works better than usually when I look at pictures, but we'll see. I did some testing beforehand, it worked well, but it might just break during the video and live and learn. Then I know for next time. Anyway, Yak is a driven striker int unit. He has a super tandem, which is pretty good. He has a super class, which is pretty good. He has a special, <laughs> which is pretty good. And a captain ability, which is pretty bland, but it's fine. Like, they did a pretty good job with Jack. I can't imagine doing a better Jack unit, basically. Uh, he also has the special limit removal, which is becoming more common. I know people will ask, will that remove Kaido's special limit? And no, nothing removes that. Not even Game Over removes Kaido's special limit. Anyway, as for his special, uh, he reduces damage reduction by 6 turns. He reduces spine attack down duration by 6 turns. So that's already some pretty amazing utility. He applies 30% driven and striker resistance to all enemies for one turn. Uh, if crew has attack boost, slot boost, and chain multiplier lock status at the same time, especially a chain lock, uh, you get a plus 500 base attack boost and extend the duration of the chain lock and increases the multiplier by plus 0.25. And this will confuse many people. Just ignore that. Basically, that's just. That's a bonus if you've already used Yak's special, basically. The real special you get from Yak is in the parenthesis, which is a 2.75 times shame boundary for two turns, which goes up to 30 max, which is pretty good. The way they want you to use this is that you use Yak's special. You apply the 30% resistance. You get the shame boundary. Then you use versus Kaido special, you get the attack boost and or boost, and you keep the chain boundary and you keep the resistance applied. Kaido can't remove those. And then you can use Yak again. You apply another 30% driven and strike resistance, so 60% total, those stacks with, together. And of course, his special will also be stacked on, so you get the three times chain boundary. And then on top of that, you get a nice little bo base attack bonus plus 500. Should have definitely been more, but Bandai has no idea what numbers they should give for base attack buffs. But yeah, they continue to surprise to say at least like plus 500 is a yoke, but it's better than nothing, I guess. So yeah, already there you can see that pretty good partner for versus Kaido, but it's not over yet, actually. There's some other stuff we can discuss later. But yeah. Even without that potential synergy, it's just a good special, good utility, good chain boundary, uh, good, good to give some extra resistance. So basically, Yak has a special that doesn't really clash with many other units, which is neat. As for the captain ability, I never, know, I never understand why they do captain after special, but okay. Uh, minus 1 CD, in driven and striker, get 5 times attack, 1.5 times HP, strength in tandem slots have matching, uh, matching slot effects. And basically the attack boost is increased depending on different conditions. If you have increased damage taken applied to the enemy, Jack's captain ability is buffed by 1.1 times, so a total of 5.5 times captain ability, or attack. 5.5 times attack captain ability, which is basically the standard nowadays. If you instead imply delay, poison, well known, progressive poison, death, down paralysis, you get a 1.05 times attack boost extra, so 5.25 times attack, which is still decent but not as good. And if you have both increased damage taken and say delay, 
it's the increased damage taken attack boost you get, and it does not stack, so 5.5 times attack is the max, which means that this yak is fine, but not really anything you will use outside of, like, potentially super boss, or if you just want yak's synergy with Kaido as a captain. Uh, sailor ability, top row character base attack 250. <laughs> Very strange. I don't think I've seen that before. Driven characters, strength slots, hand matching slot effects. That's pretty decent. Support. Uh, a support character uses a special boost damage dealt to damage taken increased enemies by 1.3 times for one turn. Yeah, this is pretty funny actually because you can like use this jack as friend captain and you can use his super claws spoilers to give increased uh, damage taken status and then you can put the support on like versus kaido and then you will get the increased damage taken attack boost potentially might be usable in some niche scenarios but it's an option at least Pretty unique support at least, but doubt it will be see that much use. It's very niche. She'll have been a higher number, I think, because of how niche the circumstances is to get this and how few units get it as well. And a few, at least one Kaido already has this in his own special and um, kit, basically. So anyway, super class. Uh, Things get interesting here with the super class and super tandem. So for Jack, you need any of the commanders or Toboropo from the Beast Pirates, basically. And the super class damage will apply increased damage taken to all enemies by two times for one turn. Also sets defense to zero for one turn. Changes Jack's loss to tandem and driven becomes super driven. One thing to note here is that the increased damage taken does not go through full immunity, neither does the death down, and uh, then it's the tandem slot to enable the super tandem, so not the biggest fan of the super class. One more way to get increased damage taken is nice, but it doesn't go through full immunity, so that makes it lose a lot of value. And I really much would have preferred if the death the zero here instead was a death down conditional to pair up with the super tandem. Not sure why they did this, but sure. But there are some workarounds around it, which I'll get to in a bit. Uh, super tandem though, you need two specific units. And it's the same as before. It's the beast pirates or uh, Toberopo basically, the commanders. The commanders or Toboropo from the Beast Pirates. There we go. Uh, reduces all enemies' death by 90%. And this ignores full immunity. Thank God. <laughs> uh, and you get a two times attack boost for Driven for one turn. So yeah, doesn't do much, but this has pretty good implications. The best implication I've been able to come up with so far is that you'd use like... Uh, Jack Captain with Killer as the other Captain, the new Legend Killer. Then Jack Super Claws or Super Tandem can set defense to zero. And then Killer's Super Type can give you the Death Down Conditional. Killer Special also does a Color Affinity. So also has some pretty good synergy. So just the combination of Jack, Killer and We2 versus Kaido will give you Attack boost, or boost, color affinity, a three times chain boundary, you get 60% resistance applied to the enemy, you get a death down to full immunity, you have a 2.25 times death down conditional, Killer's, killer will also buff uh, Kairos or boost with his super class, and you'd also have the potential to get an increased damage taken. So that's pretty insane from just three units. We can say that maybe the we for Big Mom isn't Kaido's best friend anymore. Maybe. And that combo also gets both Super Class and Super Type, which is pretty neat. 
basically everything that driven lacks now is like a, a robin but for driven basically we got a robin for driven we could just skip using some special maybe killers maybe yak again and instead we just use the robin for driven and it wouldn't do death down of course instead it will maybe delay true full immunity guaranteed or such and you will be able to stack both a death down from killer or something and the own death down that will be really what driven lacks now to make we2 versus Kaido potentially really good against Super Boss Kizuna. Anyway, so pretty decent unit in PV. Let's take a quick look at PvP. Uh, no idea if the videos become messed up. Otherwise, I guess I'll have to take the work to make it look good. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, just she looks like a meme with that sprite to be honest, but sure. Uh, Rumble special is actually pretty good. Uh, highest HP enemy gets death down level 6. Uh, 3 high HP enemies get attack 3.3 times damage. And slasher class enemies get death down, speed down and attack down level 6. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. So when I read this, I was like, there's hope for this unit. Let's see the rumble ability. And for some reason in PvP, Yak is only striker. And he just does attack up, HP up, and slasher attack down level 6. So I was like, uh... <laughs> Don't really rate him that much in PvP after that. But striker is already... Striker might be okay to use versus slashers might be worth testing but other than that don't really see him being used at all yak has a bp of gp of course but like usual it's total trash can't even activate the, the gp burst because you need to do nine power attacks and power attacks are not that common at all and yeah like you do some damage delay slashers only like you won't use that and the Gipi stats, I have not even read it because I know it's not going to be good. So, yeah, the text is there if you're interested. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.